look, I, um, the concept of joined up um, integration and all that sort of stuff, that's great stuff and, uh, and silos and that, but um, it goes back, I suspect, to some of the issues that Councillor Darby's raised. You need an enabling tool to make it all work, and um, there, there's a cost to that, um, as well as uh, the design, the configuration, and the customization, all that sort of stuff. W to what extent is, is your um, IT budget, what, what's the size and scale of it, and what are what are the costs in regard to this transformation process that you're undertaking? So the, the major component of the transformation is found in Nucor, mm. okay? And you've approved that, we've discussed it. The, the overlay is that digital interface. Um, and that's, I mean, that, that's what um, uh, Ian's been referring to. A number of those at this stage haven't been costed. Um, and so that's something that we need to step through. But uh, each of them is on a business case, and they have actually very fast payback. When you, for example, Ian, if once, once we have an online um, receiving tool uh, for documentation, uh, just the days that it takes out of processing and therefore the reduction in resource to do oh, that. No, I understand the cost benefits, but I'm just trying to get um, uh, a feel for... Uh, so Nucor is quite a, quite a big dollar value, and, and as you start to try and break it out, I'm just trying to get an understanding um, on the cost in, uh, in, in a granular fashion, if you, to use your terminology, uh, on what, what, what this enabling tool will cost. You see, because the, the, the next question that follows is, is that a lot of people call it customer-centric, but it's actually, uh, it can be regulatory-centric if you don't watch it. So, so I'm just, and then the next question would be, well, how do you, how do you um, confirm that there's been um, enough construction advice put into your engineers that are um, building your enabling system to ensure that that's the truth. So, so if I could uh, answer that, we've, we've got a number of different initiatives that fit under the umbrella of this, uh, this program of work. Now, if I just mention and, and just touch on one of them, for example, it's about sitting down with master builders, certified builders and central government and coming up with a quality plan that we can use, that, or that builders can use when they're actually going through a construction process to sign off and ensure for themselves that all the structural components in that build and the milestones of that build have actually been reached appropriately. Um, that will actually be, and it sounds really simple, but that is actually something new for almost every single building company in the country. It's something which they're now really engaged in and willing to do, and, and we will be looking to try and leverage, get as much leverage for people who make that investment um, so they get a commercial advantage. Um, and that will, that will revolutionise um, the construction industry in Auckland and, and, and around the country. Something as simple as that, sitting down and spending time with master builders, central, uh, certified builders and, and some of the group home builders and actually pulling together something simple that people can, do, can work on, it means that we can start identifying people who are following a system and can start reducing regulatory oversight on the people who are competent to, to do that work and put more focus on the people who are struggling and can't do it. Revolutionary. It means we're targeting our, our resources to where they need to be. That's the sort of stuff that's sitting under this program as well. So don't for a minute think that it's about you know, bells and whistles and IT systems. Most of it is actually collaborative partnerships that work. Uh, it's about process and cultural change, not just for the council, but the council leading uh, and working with the industry to make those changes. That's what it's about. Excellent. Yeah. Good Councillor Fletcher, last question, comment. Oh, thank you, Mr Chairman. Um, I was going to second um, the motion. Councillor Penrose has oh, moved sorry. it. Um, but in doing so, I just, as somebody who was very keen to see the review and it's encouraging to see the decisions of the 12th of March being incorporated. I really welcome this work. I'd also like to acknowledge your chairmanship today uh, and in doing so uh, recognise that you're not um, the first port of call in terms of the way these meetings are pulled together. In this case, the, the regular meeting would be organised by the chair and the deputy chair uh, and perhaps if there has been a a large workload today, it's not of your making, and I think you've managed it very well to get us through it. So, um, happy to second, and thank you. Thank you, yeah. uh, Councillor Fletcher. So, any final comments, Dean? Uh, look, uh, I'm, I'm, thank you very much. It's important for us to be able to bring things that I think will transform uh, not only the service that we bring to Auckland, but also you can now start to tell the story around some of the changes that have taken place. Yeah. So if we've achieved that, then I've achieved one of my objectives. Bi-monthly, we will bring to you other initiatives. 
What I'll do via a quick email is I'll send out to you some of the other things that are happening and you may, may wish to give me feedback on what else you'd like to see out of those or other things that you might be aware of uh, because part of our job is to create the future, not just report on the past. Thank you very much. Excellent. Thank you very much, uh, Andrew, Dean and Ian. Um, a comprehensive piece of work which potentially is going to be completely life-changing for the way this council is operating, how the public deal with us, especially in the building industry, which is such an important part of our Auckland scene. This motion is moved by, um, that we receive this report is removed by Councillor Penrose, seconded by Councillor Fletcher. All those in favour, aye. please say aye. 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 Against, it's carried. Folks, that concludes the meeting. I'm sorry it's taken so long. Sincere apologies to Councillor Casey. Um, well, it's not for me, it's for everybody. Everyone, everyone. but we, uh, are we had a conclusion. Thank you for the workload and the local alcohol policy will be starting in 15 minutes. Thank you.